They blasted the move to remove Johnson from her committee, saying it illustrates that the Republicans prioritize partisan politics and political theater over healing the wounds of division. All right, guys, good boy 32 here. Check it out. So uh, I'm right here in my home, away from home. Last night I was having a good time talking about, well, not really having a good time, but talking about our Constitution and our Bill of Rights being torn up right in front of our face. Not only uh, are our constitutional rights being taken away from us, but also our voices are being removed by private organizations who don't like an opposing viewpoint. I guess Russian collusion was okay, but you can't talk about, well, I guess voter fraud. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna be jumping all over that one here in a very near future. But uh, what we wanna talk about right now is a, uh, a lady up in Michigan who was a former committee member. Uh, she was a member of the uh, House of Representatives for the state of Michigan. Her name is Cynthia Johnson. Now, Cynthia Johnson put out a video on her Facebook page, which really incited a lot of people uh, to take a look at what's exactly her verbiage. Now, let's talk about this. And I quote, this is exactly what she said. So this is just a warning to you Trumpers. Be careful. Walk lightly. We ain't playing with you. Enough of the shenanigans. Enough is enough. And for those of you who are soldiers, you know who, how to do it. <laughs> do it right. Be in order. And this is the part that really kills me. Make them pay. Okay, so at first I thought she was going to be like Suits, you know. Walk lightly. Be of good courage. And long live the Republic. And I was like, hey, man, we're getting into this. But no, then she starts going in to make them pay. Sorry, Suits. I just had to throw that in there, man. Uh, well, anyway... Uh, what happened was the Republican leaders of the Michigan House of Representatives, and I'm reading it right here, removed Cynthia Johnson uh, from the, her committee assignments. And it's interesting because they did that simply because what she did was it was a threat. It was inciting a, a movement against people who voted for Trump. Now, what are we supposed to do? That, that's, that is uh, RICO, man. It's, 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 it's coercion. It's threatening individuals, voters. You are threatening voters just because we didn't like the outcome. And there's a reasonable, I say reasonable cause to question the outcome. You threaten these individuals. Now, I, let me, I, I digress. Now, she did receive a bunch of threats on her Facebook page. But as a political leader, I say, in an organization such as the House of Representatives for Michigan, you cannot do these things. <laughs> you just can't threaten individuals. So the House Minority Leader, Christine Craig, Greg, Democrat from Farmington and leader-elect Donna Lisinski, issued a statement Wednesday afternoon where they labeled Johnson's comments as regrettable while calling for an end to divisive political rhetoric. They say that, but then they back it up. It is regrettable that our comments have led to the unintended consequences of adding further tension. It's incumbent upon every elected official to be mindful of the impact of our words, especially in the moment of national tension and crisis. They blasted the move to remove Johnson from her committee, saying it illustrates that the Republicans prioritize partisan politics and political theater over healing the wounds of division preserving the well-being of the legislature as an institution protecting the safety of members and acting on the needs of people of Michigan. I think it's interesting. They say, well, you know, we need to heal. But then they turn around and they attack the individuals who removed this lady, but due to the, the mere fact that she threatened voters. She's inciting harm upon the voters from so-called soldiers. Who are these soldiers? Now I'll tell you one. I've been waiting all my life for this stuff. Y'all want to? You want? You want to play? Then I know that there's a lot of individuals who are, have my six who would love to play. But there's a big difference, guys. My party, we don't play. We don't play shenanigans. And Ms. Johnson, please don't make threats that you're not willing to back up. I know you did it in the heat of the moment. You got out of control. You really felt that strong power that you guys are in control now and you can do whatever the hell you want. But I got news for you. We the people 
or you will be answering too. So guys, with that being said, a little five minute skit with me talking about Cynthia Johnson and the bullshit that she said the other day. I thought it was interesting. It's Cuddle Boy 32. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. We always end it like this. Support the red, white, and blue. Support the men and women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom because freedom is not freedom. I'm talking about the men and women in uniform who will support our Constitution and our Bill of Rights as it was written by our founding fathers. Because that's very, very, very important to me and my brothers and sisters. Go to 32 I'm out of here. Y'all be good. So this is just a warning to you Trumpers. Be careful. Walk lightly. We ain't playing with you. Enough of the shenanigans. Enough is enough. And for those of you who are soldiers, you know how to do it. Do it right. Be in order. Make them pay.